as you can tell on top of the box it is a Joby product and as you already see it's the Gorilla Pod Focus with Ball Head X and um as you can tell I recently purchased this because my ten dollar knockoff Saber tripod. I'm gonna call it the Bulag tripod throughout the rest of this video. Um, can't hold my DSLR. And the reason I'm making this video is to really clarify the question: Is this really worth it? Well, you can get a similar model for ten dollars rather than a hundred. Um, throughout those videos, um. I kind of got persuaded into buying the cheap ones because I've seen a couple of videos saying that the cheap ones are good and I'm um, seeing a couple of videos saying that the cheap ones are bad. I've seen one video um, seen telling me that, or telling like YouTube that the $10 ones are way better than the $100 ones, which, hmm, huh, he, yeah, he's probably a sellout. Um, so this is unbiased. I wish people sent me this. You know, it'd just be cool for a company to send you something. Um, who would I'm, who wouldn't want to be sent an item for free to review? And um, I'll be telling you why this may be better or worse than ten dollar knockoffs. Um, before we get to the review, of course we have to go through the unboxing. About prices and anything about anything the links are in the description um i'll be naming the saber tripod in the description the joby tripod in the description the per gear ball head in the description and uh, yeah and the, the gear that i use are also in the description i'm just gonna be my first time unboxing it so huh go through the top and then what do we see in here it's oh it's so bright okay never mind <laughs> i can't reach the shutter either so you can't see it it just says joey um it's the user manual let's uh read what it actually says oh that, that's interesting it tells you how to use um the ball head the most important one is probably the one right here number three if you can see that it tells you how to take off the ball head which i probably wouldn't have, um known and then i see a one a quarter inch to three eighth inch screw adapter right here uh you really don't need to know that um what that does is basically if your camera takes a a three eighth screw then you can put that on top of the I'll show you. If your camera takes a 3 8 screw, you can put that on the top of here so it could fit. Because the one on top of here is a 1 8. And the ball head's kind of funky. Ha, huh, there we go. And then, ooh, that's this thing. Does this have anything in it? I'm also curious. Just. No, not really. There's like, is this a plastic? There's like a plastic piece here. Yeah, it's plastic. It, it didn't crack. It's definitely plastic. Well, that's good to know. And then, um, let's talk about the box. You have the Arcus Twisting, a bunch of languages. The product, product. Telling you about the product using the product in action and um that's it for the box you know um first impression first impressions about um this tripod it's heavier than the knockoff ones it's so much harder to move the legs which is good that means it won't fall so oh, oh, oh now i have time to test out the ball head the panning the panning is pretty smooth I'd say um the pure gear ball head is a little bit better. The Joby one it's it's extremely it's really really good. Don't mistake it for being bad. And it's a two knob operation, so this one, the one right here, moves the pan head, and this one right here, the bigger one, uh, allows you to position 
Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, it's, that's that's kind of odd. Allows you to move the ball head freely, so you can do whatever you want with it, like position it for vlogging or something. I'll be using this for like future vlogs and stuff. And there's another knob on top for the quick release plate. The quick release plate, first impressions, really, really, really tough to put it in and out. It, it's not very quick. I mean, like, it's quicker than, like, unscrewing it. But it's not as quick. So one downfall to this ball head is that you could have made the thing a little smoother. And I'll be comparing ball head. Ball head, okay, yeah. And your camera, your camera is just broken. Haha. <laughs> ha. That, 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 that would probably happen. The camera's just dead. So overall, pretty good, pretty good uh, tripod. The only um, thing that I dislike about it, which it's not a make or break purchase, is the quick release plate. The quick release plate function. Like, okay, just, just, mm hmm, okay. I don't like this. I'm a very impatient person. I'm not going to deal with this. But overall, it's very metally, heavy duty. Um, now we've actually unboxed it. Let's actually compare this tripod to the other tripod. But I, currently I don't have the tripod, so I'm going to go get that. Okay, before we talk about the legs on both of these tripods. Wow. Um, I'm not going to say anything. Um, let's talk about the ball head. Um, this one, this ball head right here. This doesn't come with the tripod. I bought it separately for $25. It's a per gear ball head. There's many, it's a very generic ball head. There's many versions of it. And first, let's talk about the panning feature. As I said before, the panning feature on the per gear ball head, in my opinion, is much more smoother um, than the Joby one. So that's one downside to the ball head because the ball head by itself is fifty dollars on amazon if you get the bundle it's only 102 if you buy off the joby website the bundle costs 150 dollars so yeah buy off the buy off amazon but one thing i noticed about this is how to move the ball um the actual ball head there's two knobs for it there's one right here and the one right here this one yeah you can move around but it's kind of tough and then you could also twist this one for fine tuning which makes it more loose and if you twist both of them they're just it becomes the inflatable dancing tube man if you know what that means like the car i'm getting off topic um but and you know the quick release plate on this one i personally like it more because there's also a safety mechanism, it's not as tough, you don't have to like push around like this. You just untwist it the whole way and just pull it out. Wait, wait, I'm wondering if I can switch the ball head. Not the ball heads, the quick release plates. The quick release plates seem to be about the same size, except this one is shaped as an X. Okay, it turns out that um, if you have other Arca Swiss ball heads, get the bundle because you can um, interchange the quick release plates. Um, that's pretty cool. They're both Arca Swiss. This one is just a different style of Arca Swiss. It's an X. That's why it's called the ball head X, if you were wondering. And now let's get to the actual comparing. The first one you have are the leg strength um the saber um the bootleg one it's not very strong it's it's actually really really weak like it can't even hold itself there 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 we go um it's it's not it's not good this one even if you shake it, it barely moves. It, it, 
it doesn't even move. Okay, so winner. This one, obviously, it's stronger. Size. Size really depends on which camera you're using. I have a big camera, so this is the winner. And this size is comparable to the SLR zoom. So if you have a smaller mirrorless or point and shoot, I definitely suggest getting the SLR zoom. Or or if you don't have any money and you spent it all on your camera, get the Sabre one. Why not? Um, one thing I did notice is that the rubber on the Joby one is, like, it's not as grippy as the Sabre one, and the Sabre one is squishy. This one, I guess it's more durable. Um, but I prefer the Sabre one, because it's squishy. And, and, of course, it's grippy. It's grippier. And then, another thing, what this is made for, it's made for wrapping around. So, let's see how, um, flexible it is. Okay, this one... This one being the bigger tripod, it should have a bigger hole. But when you compare them, they seem to be the same size. So, this is technically more flexible, and I've seen other videos talking about um, comparing two Gorilla Pods that are the same size, and they've had the same results. And it's really, really, really tough to reposition it, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's a good thing if you don't want your camera breaking. Okay, um, for this tripod, when it's positioned like this, it kind of slopes down. And then when the Sabre tripod, I'm going to use this because I'm too lazy to. When the Sabre tripod is using a triangle, it could hold the camera, but one tap, it completely just goes like boom, boom, boom. It just, it just can't hold it using it as like a conventional tripod. And if you don't believe me, um, I'll show you. Do, um, I'm doing the horizontal tripod and I'm... Placing it down right. Oh, it already fell down. Okay, I'm placing it down right now, and this is me staying in one position. Okay, you get the point. There. The tripod isn't that as good. And now let's do the triangle. This is the triangle. It's still falling down if I like touch it. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, this tripod, it just can't be used as a conventional tripod. So if you can do like setups and stuff, do not use this at all. So, um, when it goes blank, I'm going to switch to the Joby tripod. Um, this is using as like a triangle thing. This is the horizontal one. Um, I feel kind of short. It's holding the tripod pretty well. You get the point. Now, let's switch to the horizontal one. Okay, this is the horizontal one. Um, even if I'm, I'm applying pressure right now, and it's like, I'm doing it like really hard. But if you just leave it alone, it does fine. It does fine, but you have to like really push it down if you really want to budget. And mind you, I'm doing this in a really hot, wet room, so there could be multiple factors. The legs get weaker because of the heat and sliding because of the moisture and the humidity. But in like cold scenarios, which is usually outside, which if you're vlogging, you're, you're going to go outside, so that shouldn't be a problem at all. So, do we try pod? Overall, yeah, you should get Joby over um, the bootleg versions. Well, I'm going to actually end the video here. <laughs> if you've watched to the end, thank you. Make sure to comment, subscribe, like. Thank you for watching once again. Um, shout out to you guys. <laughs> I'm actually going to start. Okay, now I'm going to close off the video. I'm just going to do it right here. Too lazy. Like, subscribe, comment, and um, thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate um, your time watching me. You don't know how much. I really appreciate other people taking the time out of their day to actually sit through a video through mine. So, I praise you.